Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have an awesome dinner recipe for y'all to enjoy along your weight loss journey. So if you're like me, I absolutely love, I used to love eating lasagna and spaghetti and things like that. So if you're missing that comfort food, you're definitely gonna wanna make this recipe. Today we are going to be making some keto cauliflower big ziti. It has the cheese, the red sauce, the Italian sausage, the cauliflower, it is baked to perfection and it is absolutely delicious. So let me show you how to make it. Let's go ahead and get straight into this video. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to make this recipe. First thing we're gonna do, we are going to chop up two heads of cauliflower. Yes, you can buy pre-chopped. If you wanna save some money, just buy regular heads of cauliflower and then chop it up yourself. But if you wanna make it easier, usually depending on the store, they do have pre-chopped cauliflower. So we're just gonna chop it up. Um, off to the side, you want to go ahead and get a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Do not use wax paper. I know a lot of people confuse that. Parchment paper. If you use wax paper, it is going to melt. So, we're going to take our head cauliflower, and then you're just going to chop it up into florets. So, I kind of just chop off the leaves first, just like that. Toss it to the side. So I have my oven preheating to um, 325 degrees. We are going to be roasting our cauliflower. Now I recommend to roast it. I know some people might want to go ahead and hurry up and boil it if you're in a time crunch. But if you boil it, cauliflower tends to hold and release a lot of liquid. And then you're going to have a liquidy mess. So I recommend to roast it. Um, I boil my cauliflower for like cauliflower mash and things like that. But for this recipe, we are going to be roasting it and getting it nice and tender. So what you want to do, you want to take little bite-sized florets just like this. We're going to put it onto our piece of parchment paper. I am going to give these a good rinse. So after I'm done, I'll give it a good rinse. And then you can just add it back to your parchment paper or just put it in a bowl, whatever you want. But I kind of just go around the center piece of the cauliflower just to make it easier to chop. I've been chopping cauliflower forever. So that's like the easiest way for me. And it just breaks apart. They're not gonna be even, but you just want like bite-sized pieces, nothing too crazy, not too big. Even if it's just like this, you can just pull it apart. And yeah, you're just gonna go ahead and repeat to two heads of cauliflower. Then off to the side, I have some salt and pepper and some olive oil. We're just gonna season it and drizzle it up. So just repeat until you're done with everything. If you have pieces like this, you can just cut around the center piece. You don't want this hard middle piece. Okay, so once you have your cauliflower chopped and laid out on your piece of parchment paper, we're gonna drizzle and season it. Now, earlier I said that to preheat your oven to 325, I meant 425, I apologize, but 425 degrees. So I'm gonna take some olive oil, or you could use avocado oil, whatever you like, and you're going to drizzle it all over your cauliflower. Just make sure everything gets nice and coated. And these oil bottles are linked in my Amazon storefront in my description if you are interested. I absolutely love them. Then we're going to season with some salt and pepper just for right now because we're going to go in with other seasonings later. So a generous amount of salt and pepper. Then you're just going to take your hands and kind of just mix it all around. Make sure the olive oil gets evenly coated with everything. Just like that, and let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. All right, we're popping our cauliflower in the oven at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes or until brown. Okay, while our cauliflower is roasting in the oven, you guys, we're gonna move on to the meat mixture. So for today, I am going in with this mild Italian sausage. You could use ground beef. I like to use sausage with this. You could even go in with hot sausage if you like to. And we're gonna go ahead and cook this down. Okay, I like to go in with this little tool. It breaks apart really, like it makes it really fine, like ground beef and sausage and stuff. I have it, I can link it in my Amazon storefront as well. I absolutely love this thing. So you're just gonna go ahead and cook the sausage through first. All right guys, once your sausage is cooked through, I'm gonna go ahead and add three cloves of minced garlic. I'm just going to let this cook down for a couple minutes. In the meantime, we're going to season. You can go in with any seasonings you like. These are the ones I am using today. We're going to go in with some Italian seasoning. 
I season with my heart. I season very generous. So just go in with as much as you like. Then of course we're going to season with some more salt and pepper. A little bit of salt to taste and some pepper. Now I'm going to turn down my heat because we are going to add in some sauce and I don't want it popping everywhere. We're going to give this a good mix. Okay, now for my sauce, I am going in with this no sugar added marinara sauce. I know a popular brand is Rayo's. Rayo's is super good, but if you want to save some money, I would recommend another brand that you like. Maybe give some a try. Rayo's is $11 a jar, okay? It's, it's expensive, but it's great. I'm not going to lie, um, but if you want to save some money, things are so expensive right now. I do recommend this one. Um, Mir Glen, I can never pronounce it. It's an organic marinara sauce, but it's so good. They have different flavors. It's a no sugar added one. Um, if you do, if you do happen to buy Rayos, I always recommend to get it from Costco or Sam's Club because they have it in bulk for way cheaper. They literally have two for like the price of one at the store. Um, I need to stock up on it. I haven't been to Sam's Club in a little bit, but I do recommend to get it there if you do have a Sam's Club card or Costco if your store carries it. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this no sugar added red sauce. And I get this one at H-E-B. I know they, I think they have it at Walmart, but I mostly find it at H-E-B. Okay, so I went ahead and turned down my heat a little bit. We're gonna add in our jar of sauce. I'm gonna give this a little good stir. I put a little water in my jar just to thin out the sauce a bit and get the rest from in there. Okay, we're gonna give it a good mix. You could re-season a little bit if you need to add some more salt, but I'm gonna go ahead, close it with the lid, and we're gonna let this simmer for about three to five minutes. Okay, once your sauce has been simmering, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. We're gonna give it a good mix, and then you're just gonna go ahead and set it to the side, and in the meantime, we're gonna go check on that cauliflower that has been roasting in the oven. Okay, my cauliflower has been roasting in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. It just depends on your oven. But you're gonna see that it's getting nice and brown and it's changing, changing color, it's getting nice and toasty. So we're gonna go ahead, take it out of the oven and we're gonna go ahead and move on to assembling our dish. And we're also gonna drop down our heat to 400 degrees from 425 so when we come bake our dish, it's already set, so set it to 400. Okay, before we start assembling our dish, we're gonna go ahead and mix up some ricotta. Um, this is optional, but I do recommend it if you like ricotta. I absolutely love ricotta. So we're just gonna mix in an egg really quickly so it doesn't separate when we cook it. So I'm just taking a tub of ricotta. I'm gonna add it to my bowl. We're gonna break it down, and then you're gonna go ahead and add in one large egg. And then you do want to season. I'm just going in with the same seasonings or you could add any seasoning, just some Italian seasoning and then some salt and pe pepper to give it some flavor. And it's super simple. You're just going to go ahead and break apart the egg and mix it well with the ricotta until it's nice and smooth. All right, once your egg is really well mixed in there, that's all you wanna do. Just go ahead and set it to the side and we're gonna bring out a baking dish. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start layering our dish. You're gonna want a baking dish. This is a nine by 13. You're basically doing this like a lasagna, so you want everything in front of you. So right here, I have my roasted cauliflower. I went ahead and added it in a bowl just to make it easier. I have my marinara and sausage mix, mix off to the side. We have our ricotta. Then for other cheeses, you go, you're gonna go in with some shredded Parmesan cheese if you'd like. And then we're gonna go in with some shredded mozzarella. You can definitely shred up your own or just make it your own You could change up the cheeses if you like to change up the flavors So um, we're gonna go ahead and take our sausage mix What we're gonna do is you're just gonna put some at the bottom first Just put a thin layer Like I said, it's just like making a lasagna except we're using some cauliflower. Now you're gonna go ahead and take some roasted cauliflower, kind of just spread it out at the bottom, put it in all corners. Okay, now you're gonna take some of that ricotta. I put like little dollops everywhere. And then you can kind of just like give it a little spread. It'll spread out while it cooks as well. Then you're going to go in with your cheeses. We go in with a little Parmesan. And you are doing layers, so you don't have to go heavy on the first layer. 
All my ingredients and measurements are always in the description below along with the macros. We're gonna go in with some shredded mozzarella. Then you're just gonna repeat, we're gonna add another layer of sauce. Just like that. Then we're gonna go in with our cauliflower. All right, and y'all kind of get the hint. Just go ahead and repeat until everything is gone. Last layer on top is going to be cheese. Okay, I'm on the last layer. I went ahead and poured the rest of my sauce, give it a good spread. I went ahead and did four small layers. Um, it also depends on the size of your cauliflower heads. If you don't wanna do too much, maybe pick a smaller one. It all just depends. I'm putting Parmesan cheese, and last thing we're gonna top it off with is some more mozzarella just to cover the top. And then just to give it a little color, I like to sprinkle a little bit more Italian seasoning on top, and it gives it that color on top so it's not just cheese. Okay, once you have everything layered just like this, we're about to pop this in the oven to bake. My oven is set to 400 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in for about 15 to 20 minutes or until everything is nice and bubbly. All right, you guys, my baked ziti, cauliflower ziti is done. It's nice and bubbly. The cheese is nice and melted. It smells absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead and take it out and let it cool down before we dig in, of course. All right, you guys, I let my keto cauliflower baked ziti cool down. It smells absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to dig in, and it was super simple, so I really hope y'all enjoy this recipe. But let's go ahead and serve us up a bowl. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and serve me up a serving, you guys. I cannot wait. I absolutely love ricotta. I love me some red sauce. Spaghetti used to be my weakness, so this is a great replacement for that. Get that cauliflower, that Italian sausage. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and dig in. I am gonna get some of the ricotta, the sausage, and make sure to get that cauliflower and all the cheese. My mouth is watering. <laughs> all right, let's dig in. Mm. Oh my God. It's been a while. The cauliflower is nice and tender. It should just fall apart in your mouth. You don't want it crunchy, so make sure you cook it really well. You get that Italian sausage, the Italian flavors, the cheese, the ricotta. I also love to add red chili flakes. I'm a red chili flake girl. I add red chili flakes to anything. Pizza, like Italian food, ugh, I add red chili flakes to everything. So add a little red chili flakes if you like a little spice. Mm. This is so good. This is definitely one of those dishes that your whole family will enjoy. So if you have kids and you're trying to change your diet or you're trying to incorporate more veggies, this right here is the way to go. It is so good. I know my little one's gonna enjoy this. It is awesome, you guys, full of flavor. It just hits that comfort spot. When I think of comfort food, I want like spaghetti and pasta, like that's my kind of comfort. So this definitely hits the spot without the guilt. Give it a try. If you happen to make it, follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you guys. You can post some pictures there. I would absolutely love to see y'all enjoy it or comment down below. Make sure you hit that share button if you haven't already, just to show more support on my channel and really get it out there. I would really appreciate it. But I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Comment down below what y'all would like to see next. I'm always open to suggestions. Bye, guys.